Hi everyone to our next uh, collaboration uh, with uh, my wonderful worldwide uh, cooking colleagues um, and first of all as always I have to say please go into the video description um, and see all the links uh, to uh, my colleagues contributions uh, today they are also publishing today uh, and stay tuned until the end of the video then you will see uh, a wonderful introduction as always made by Sylvia, uh, where uh, each colleague uh, is introduced uh, himself and uh, with his dish um, for the today's topic. And the topic is uh, potato dishes around the world. So I'm living in Germany. Uh, there are loads of um, uh, potato dishes, uh, but actually uh, I, uh, exactly for that reason I wanted to make something uh, different from a, a different country. And I have chosen Gamia Jorim, I think this is the way to pronounce this. Uh, pronounce it, uh, it's a South Korean uh, uh, dish and way of uh, making potatoes. It's wonderful and so full of flavor and extremely easy to make. It takes quite a long uh, time, um, up to 60 minutes. You will see this in a few moments, but it's absolutely worth to do it uh, and to try it because the flavor is outstanding. So, um, have fun uh, watching uh, the video uh, with the uh, Gamya Jorim, uh, South Korean uh, potatoes, and we will see us in a few minutes. Um, again uh, with uh, uh, my tasting. So have fun uh, and uh, happy cooking. Okay, let's go. So um, you see here, uh, I'm cooking for two um, people, uh, persons uh, as nearly always. Um, so this is round about five or 600 gram of uh, very young fresh uh, potatoes where you can eat um, the skin. And, and let the skin on. So then uh, you take uh, quite a, a big uh, pan uh, because um, the um, potatoes, uh, they should uh, be in the pan in one layer. They, uh, all potatoes have to have contact uh, with the bottom uh, of, of the pan. Um, this is very, really mandatory to have the best result. Uh, with quite a lot uh, olive oil uh, and the whole process will take round about one hour because um, they um, uh, are not pre-cooked um, they go into the pan uh, as you have seen uh, freshly and raw so then in the meantime you prepare um, uh, quite a lot of um, garlic it's up to you of course as uh, always how much uh, you take here then um, I would say that there are three or four um, uh, tablespoons of uh, soya sauce, um, then a little bit of honey, a little bit of uh, rice vinegar or any other uh, vinegar, uh, and then um, the, the same amount of uh, uh, the humidity you had before uh, with, uh, you add with water. And then mix this up very good. And uh, this will go into the pan around uh, about in the last uh, 15 minutes. Minutes. You will see this later. So here you can see how uh, the potato gets colored and, and um, uh, cooked uh, through. Uh, and uh, of course you have to choose uh, a mid-range uh, heat. Uh, because nothing should burn there. It's a, a slow cooking process. Uh, as I said, uh, it takes up to 60 minutes. Now, um, I um, prepared uh, two tablespoons of sesame seeds. We will add them also in uh, the final process uh, into this uh, potato dish. You will see this in, in a few moments. Um, now, as you can see, uh, the potatoes get more and more cooked through and uh, get a wonderful uh, color. Uh, and in the end, we come um, to uh, the final process. Now you add um, um, the sauce uh, we prepared. And now uh, you cook 
as long as um, the the source disappears nearly uh, 100%. So re you reduce it to a level uh, where the potatoes just have a kind of um, of uh, moisture surface, but the source disappeared. You will see this in a few moments. And it's so concentrated um, a taste then, uh, it's wonderful. Um, I have added also uh, the garlic uh, now, and in a few moments we will add also uh, the sesame seeds, and then actually the dish is ready. So in South Korea, um, uh, they usually add uh, some uh, uh, eggs uh, with it, um, so, but this is optional and of course uh, the tenderloin fillet I'm cooking in, in the third pan, it's definitely optional. Uh, you can um, eat the potatoes um, uh, alone. Uh, or as a side dish, as uh, I am do it uh, here in this example, so it's up to you. And now you can see the sauce disappeared nearly uh, 100% and it stays this uh, glance and this, uh, the potatoes are covered with, uh, with this uh, very focused and concentrated taste. Uh, it's so wonderful. Um, it's a beautiful uh, way to prepare a potato. Takes quite long. As I said uh, several times, up to 60 minutes, um, but uh, it's definitely worth it. And we will see in a few moments uh, how it tasted. Now, uh, the final picture on the, uh, on the plate uh, before uh, I will taste uh, the dish. So this is my example uh, how I combined uh, the potato. Um, feel free to uh, make your choice yourself. So and now let's see let's see uh, and hear how it tastes. So now see how uh, this tastes. It looks absolutely beautiful. Uh, so just to have a try look at the meat. I mean we are just talking about some potatoes, water, honey, and uh, soya sauce and so on. And now. Uh, it looks so beautiful. This is outstanding. So, so subtle in, in the flavor, all the concentrated and, and, and focused flavor coming from the honey and the soya sauce. You have seen how uh, much humidity it was and it's completely down cooked uh, onto this uh, uh, glance um, and it's, it's just uh, beautiful. So, um, I hope you enjoyed watching the video. I strongly recommend uh, to try uh, this uh, South Korean uh, potato dish uh, yourself. And um, well, um, happy cooking!